Hi, Robin here with a quick tip for any players who are struggling slicing the golf ball. There's one thing for sure. If you're slicing, if your golf ball is moving from left to right in the air, your club face is open relative to your swing path at impact. If we can stop the club face being open, the golf ball will stop slicing. It will stop moving left to right in the air. Now, to do this, to stop the club face getting open, I want you to take a club out in front of you, making your left hand grip as normal. And practice the movement of rotating your left wrist down. Some people call this the motorbike drill. With a motorbike, the wrist would be moving more in the opposite fashion. So let's call it the reverse motorbike drill. But the purpose is, when we're rotating the left wrist down, you can see that the club face would be closing, the opposite to what you're doing. So once you become familiar with that movement, make a few practice swings. Make your back swing as normal, but from the top, I want you to practice rotating the wrist in the same way. Rotate your wrist down. That will be closing the club face. That will be ensuring your club face is not open relative to your swing path at impact. I'll almost guarantee from this, you'll stop slicing the golf ball. The ball will not be moving left to right in the air anymore you still might have some swing plane issues. I mean, if you're hitting the ball straight now, great, job done. You don't need to do anything else. Some people might start drawing the golf ball. Again, you might be happy with this. That means your swing path was to the right of the target. You had a severely open club face. You were hitting push slice shots. Simply squaring the club face, you start hitting draws. More commonly, because most people who slice the golf ball, they're afraid of hitting the ball to the right. So their swing path is to the left, opening the club face to the path, creating a slice shot. That's quite common. So when you start squaring the club face, you might hit pull shots, balls that start left of the target and stay there. But you've made a good step forward in improving or fixing your slice. You now know how to square the club face. Step two, we'll be looking at ways of how to get the club more on plane in the downswing. How to stop coming over the top, club too much in front of you. So look at articles and tips, how to start the downswing, how to lead the downswing more with your lower body. When you do that, combined with squaring the club face, you've fixed your slice. So give this a try. Anybody struggling with slices, I think this is a good first step. I hope it helps.